Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for the likes, shares, and support. Thank you for the message that you have left behind. Um, please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is the last week of May 2017, and the month is ending up with a Ten of Swords in reverse for you. So this is going to be extremely good as we look at the energy vibration we're understanding what is going on around us the energy in this week the best day is going to be Monday and Friday because the chariot comes in on Friday so you have won over you have won something that you were um, being working uh, something that was against you so there is a, a situation of good news coming in on Saturday and this sort of an energy the energy of the two of Pentacles is also here as we look at the month the week it's a week of fire it's a week of um, um, ending stuff it doesn't have to do with work because the knight of sword is here so you had a situation with a knight of sword and the knight of sword energy is a is a air energy person that was coming at you with certain things and you were fighting off this hair person okay so um, the energy in this week is going to be an energy of a heavy week the energy in this week is so heavy so you have to be careful what you do because you have to deal with some hair people or the energy of justice so what is happening is that um, on Monday you have the lovers the energy of the lovers and this has to do with uh, a situation that you were dealing with with certain people in your life it um, the lovers energy has to do because all you water sign people are dealing with the lovers in this week the energy of the lovers and if you had and was in a relationship with either the knight of um, swords or the princess of swords this energy vibration with this relationship is going to come to an end okay whatever conflict there was it's going to come to an end as we look forward and we look at the um, four of swords on Tuesday there is going to become a balance a balance where you're going to take rest to look at certain things in your life okay the ten of wands is in the middle of the week in its reverse form the ten of wands is in the middle of the week in it in its reverse form and this is extremely good because you're leaving behind the burden that you carry from this relationship okay you took a burden with you with this relationship and you're leaving this burden behind so whatever relationship it was you are actually leaving this burden behind and you're moving forward the two of Pentacles comes up on Thursday which is a balance so it's an earth balance because you have water here and uh, water here and um, the ones energy the fire energy so you have water air and fire and now you have on Thursday the fourth element of uh, um, bringing balance to financial situation and your emotions in this on Thursday on Friday you have a huge victory and success whatever is happening you have a huge victory and success to whatever that was taking place and this is going to be a wonderful positive energy vibration that is happening so you begin the week with the lovers with your own energy vibration of the water and you're ending um, the week on Friday with the victory and success and the chariot so it can be a situation that is happening to you at work that have to do with and conflicts with somebody who you were in um, good state and um, this you is as ended the week with the the, the the triumphant energy and also what is here looking over and protecting you is the victory and success of the ace of sword so you have come through this thing with a big big win in the sense that you release yourself from an energy and from a situation that has been happening in your life and finally this is over as we look at the weekend we have on Saturday the six of wands the six of wands is going to be good news coming in to you and with this good news the ten of swords is in reverse so you are removing yourself 
the ten of swords is in reverse so whatsoever you can says we're go we're, we're having to deal with it is a situation that you had the energy you needed to find in a peace and a rest in the middle of the week because on Wednesday you had the ten of wands on Tuesday you had um, the four of swords on on Thursday you have the two of Pentacles which brought balance in a situation um, balance on Thursday so you become the equilibrium of whatsoever was happening around you your energy vibration on Saturday we have the fire and the air energy the fire and air energy but you have overwin this thing that was happening to you I am with the the knight of swords so this is going to be an extreme profound week and you have two times ten which is um, comes to a one so um, and at 11 which is the portal so whatever was was happening that you were um, going against this knight of swords you are going to be justified and come out of this situation the energy card that I'm using is the Oracle of the E this week and let's see what does the message of the Oracle of the week have for the cancer you have sticky wiki <laughs> sticky wiki this means that it was a, a really um, profound sticky situation that you got yourself in and you are trying now to cleanse it and clear the energy so you end the month of May with sticky wiki clearing the energies of whatsoever that was happening because the energy of the sword is air two times the air energy it is an air week so obviously the air energy helps you to cleanse something that was happening on Saturday you have the ones and in on Wednesday you have the ten of ones in reverse which is a positive energy you have the ten of swords which is in reverse which is a positive energy it is the end of the opposite polarity of what this energy was given so it's a wonderful profound wonderful time as I look at this reading it has to do with the energy vibration of the lovers and this could be that there was a third person in your relationship it's all about relationship for you um, water sign in this week so there was a third person in your relationship and this third person in your relationship was the nine of swords and whatsoever that was happening this nine of swords um, was the third person who was affecting your relationship so it's all about relationship for you guys in this week it's not a situation where the energy of work is because you have it's a fire week and you have to work with the energies of the lovers and the lovers there come a third person which is the knight of sword in your relationship and this was what was causing so much um, situation that was going on in your relationship the sticky wiki comes up because it was a sticky situation it was a situation that you never asked for it was a situation that was called on you and you're working out the situation the energy of the father figure is here because there is an an an, 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 an mono, uh, a, a male um, a masculine energy that is coming up and it's all about you and the lovers so whatsoever that has um, taken place with the this um, knight of sword you are going to be victorious over this knight of swords whatever situation because it's all about the love it's all about love It's a third party that came in your relationship and this situation you have overwin the situation so this for you guys is a positive positive energy um, see that and know that whatsoever the conflict was with you and this love relationship because it's a long time love hasn't showed up for you the the emotional balance is going to be balanced because the earth energy came in on Thursday to balance that situation off and overall it's going to be a win-win situation because you have the chariot with the ace of swords so it's going to be an extremely win-win situation i want to say to each and every person out there please like and share these videos 
please realize that whatever we send out in the universe is whatever we come back we get back you water sign in the last week of May is working on relationship whatever was happening and taking place in your relationship you are healing this and I want to say namaste until next week